today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to find the domain of a function. And we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, f of x is equal to 2x plus 7. What is the domain of this function? What is the least all possible values of x that can exist in this function? So whenever you have a linear function, the domain is always all real numbers. So if you are going to write this one in interval notation, this will be from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 5. If you are going to have a quadratic function, the domain is still all real numbers. So this will be from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. What about number 3? f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2. If you are going to have a polynomial function, just like an example number 3, the domain is still all real numbers. So this will be from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this is our answer. Always remember, if there are no fraction or a square root, the domain is always all real numbers. For this set of example, we are going to have a rational function. On number 4, f of x is equal to 5 over x minus 2. So to find the domain of a rational function, set the denominator not equal to 0, then you can find the value of x. For this particular function, x can be anything except a value that's going to produce 0 on the denominator. So therefore, we are going to have x minus 2 not equal to 0. So x can be anything except positive 2. Because if you are going to substitute positive 2 on the denominator, we are going to have an undefined. So x can be anything except positive 2. Now, how can we write this one in interval notation? So let's say, for example, if you are going to draw a number line, this is positive 2, to the left is negative infinity, to the right is positive infinity. x can be anything except positive 2. So we are going to use an open circle because 2 is not included in our solution. And to write the domain, this will be from negative infinity up to 2, but 2 is not included. Union from this section, that is 2 up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. What about number 5? f of x is equal to 3x minus 8 all over x squared minus 9x plus 20. So let us set the denominator not equal to 0. So this will be x squared minus 9x plus 20 not equal to 0. And to find the value of x, let us factor this one. So the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If you multiply, you can get 20. And if you add, you can get negative 9. And that's negative 4 and negative 5 not equal to 0. So x minus 4 not equal to 0 and x minus 5 not equal to 0. So x can be anything except positive 4 and positive 5. Now, if we are going to draw a number line to determine the domain range or the domain rather, let us have 4 and 5. From this portion, that's negative infinity, and this is positive infinity. So x can be anything except 4 and 5. So we are going to use open circle because 4 and 5 is not included in our solution. So the domain will be from negative infinity up to 4, but 4 is not included in this section. Union, this one, 4 to 5. Union, this one, that is 5 up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On number 6, f of x is equal to 2x minus 8 all over x squared minus 4. So just like an example number 5, let us set the denominator equal to 0. So this will be x squared minus 4 not equal to 0. So to find the factors of this one, this will be x plus 2 
and x minus 2 not equal to 0. So x can be anything except negative 2 and positive 2. Now, how can we write this one in interval notation? So let's say, for example, if you are going to have a number line, this is negative 2 and this is positive 2. To the left is negative infinity and to the right is positive infinity. X can be anything except negative 2 and positive 2. That's why we are going to use open circle because negative 2 and positive 2 is not included in the solution. So let us have the domain that's from negative infinity up to 2, but 2 is not included. And union from negative 2 up to 2, union, this one, from 2 up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On example number 7, f of x is equal to x minus 1 all over x squared plus 9. So let us set the denominator not equal to 0. So if you are going to move 9 on the other side, we are going to have x squared not equal to negative 9. And if we are going to square both sides of the equation and substitute the denominator, we are not going to have 0 on the denominator. Now for this particular function, the domain is always a real number. So this will be negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On number 8, f of x is equal to square root of x minus 4. As you can see, the given function is an example of a radical function. And to find the domain of a radical function where the index is an even number, you cannot have a negative number inside the radical sign. If it is an odd number, let's say cube root, we are going to have all real numbers for the domain. But since our given is a square root of x minus 4, we cannot have a negative number inside the radical sign. And to find the domain of this function, we are going to set the radical greater than or equal to 0 because it is positive. But if it is negative, it is less than or equal to 0. So let us have x minus 4 greater than or equal to 0 because this one is positive. So let's have x greater than or equal to positive 4. Now, how can we write this one in interval notation? So let's say, for example, if you are going to draw a number line, this is positive 4, this is negative infinity, and this is positive infinity. So this portion is part of our solution, including 4. So we are going to have a closed circle because 4 is included in our solution. So the domain will be bracket because 4 is included in our solution, comma, positive infinity. And this will be our answer. Always remember, if we are going to have greater than or equal to, we are going to use bracket. If it is less than or equal to, we are going to use an open parenthesis, including the infinity. This will be our answer. On number 9, f of x is equal to square root of x squared plus 3x minus 28. So to find the domain of this function, let us set the radical greater than or equal to 0. So this will be x squared plus 3x minus 28 greater than or equal to 0. So let us factor this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 28. And if we add, we can get positive 3. And that is positive 7 and negative 4. So this will be x plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. And this is x minus 4 greater than or equal to 0. So if you are going to move this one, it became negative, And we are going to have x less than or equal to negative 7. And this will be x greater than or equal to positive 4. How can we write the domain of this function? So let us have a number line. This will be negative 7 and this will be positive 4. And this is negative infinity and this is positive infinity. Since we have less than or equal to and greater than or equal to, we are going to have a closed circle because negative 7 and positive 4 is included in our solution. And because 
we have less than, we are going to shade this part. That means this region is belong to our solution. And we have greater than, so this region is also belong to our solution. So to write the domain, we are going to have this one, negative infinity up to negative 7 bracket because negative 7 is included in our solution. Union, this one, bracket 4 up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On example number 10, f of x is equal to 2x minus 7 all over square root of x plus 3. If square root of x plus 3 is written in the numerator, we are going to have x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. But since it is written in the denominator, so instead of greater than or equal to 0, we are going to have x plus 3 greater than 0. So let us move this one on the other side. So x is greater than negative 3. So let us draw a number line. This is negative infinity and this is positive infinity. And we use open circle for negative 3 because negative 3 is not included in our solution. So we are going to have this one because it is greater than. So therefore, the domain will be from negative 3 up to positive infinity. This will be our answer. On number 11, f of x is equal to square root of x minus 4 all over x squared minus 5. So let us set the numerator greater than or equal to 0. So x minus 4 greater than or equal to 0. So x is greater than or equal to positive 4. And we know that we cannot have 0 on the denominator. So let us set the denominator not equal to 0. So this will be x plus 5 and x minus 5 not equal to 0. So we have x not equal to negative 5 and x not equal to positive 5. So if you are going to draw a number line, this is negative 5, this is 4, this is 5, and this is positive infinity, to the left is a negative infinity. So we are going to use an open circle to negative 5 and positive 5 because they are not included in our solution. And close circle to positive 4 because we have greater than or equal to 0 up to this region except positive 5. So how can we write the domain of this function? So let us start here. We are not going to include this one because it started with 4 bracket 4. 5 is not included, union to 5 up to positive infinity. This will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.